This video is part of the IOD summer release. You can find the full playlist in the comments below. Let me show you how to prepare and store your rural scene stamps by IOD for ease of use. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do with your rural scene stamps are you're going to open the packaging. You're going to notice that there are two sets of stamps and then two sets of masks which are individually wrapped. After you get them laid out, you're going to definitely want to prepare your stamps. You want to do this for a few reasons. First, it will accept the ink better and it will give you a better impression when you use your stamps. I generally take a 220 and just give it a nice light sanding. You'll quickly notice how many little pieces of stamps there are, which means there are equal amount of the masks that match them, and they may be difficult to identify when you need a mask because you definitely are going to be layering these stamps. That's what these are designed for. Okay, so let me show you what I did. So first of all, I laid the one stamp face down so the plastic side was up. Then I mirrored the same mask sheet on the other side. Then I took a Sharpie and I numbered them. The first sheet is one through 25. So I went just off side of the picture. You'll see the numbers, but you can still see the stamp. And I did this on purpose because if you write it on the back of the stamp, you'll never find the number. Trust me, I've done it before. So let me show you why you need to write the number on the mask on the opposite side. When you're writing these numbers, you will realize that you're putting them on the side that will touch your project. There is a reason for that. Watch when I take a baby wipe and I try to wipe it off. It doesn't come clean. Um, however, when you put a little stamp ink on it from IOD, watch what happens. I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to rub the same thing I tried to do with a baby wipe and it miraculously comes off. So that is why you definitely want to put your Sharpie on the opposite side of which side you're stamping. That way you don't erase your numbers and your Sharpies will stay on your mask. And no, it does not transfer onto your project. It's a little crazy, I know. However, I'm glad I tested it. Okay, so now let me talk about storing it. Save your mask envelopes and go ahead and stick it back in. These little mask envelopes are very important because these masks won't stay in the container very long and they'll be loose. And at least this way you'll have one through 25 in one envelope and then 26 through 50 in the other envelope. So it'll make finding your masks a little easier, especially with the Sharpie written on it. It can be a little daunting trying to get it back in, but just take your time and it'll slide back in. Now look here, notice when I took it, apart. I folded it down so the sticky side stayed shut and stuck together so it didn't catch on my mask. But then you can peel it back off and re-stick it to close that mask. Works like a charm. So after you've done both masks, you want to assemble everything back together. And what I do is I put them in the IOD envelopes. These are perfect. So the first thing I do is I cut off the edges of the um, cardboard part because I like to have the examples and like to see the stamps. I just like that. It adds to it. So I put that in first. Then what I do is I'll take my stamps and my masks and then I'll slide those in. Now, sometimes if you have a double set, it's a little tight, but it does fit. After I get them lined up, slid in, I also cut the name of the stamp off the cardboard part too. And I slide that in. So I have it in the envelope. But then again, I also you have my Sharpie handy and I write it on the top of the envelope. After I've carefully placed everything into the IOD envelope, what I do is I put it in a plastic scrapbook container. This will allow me to store six, seven, eight different stamps in one area. And on the outside of the container, I generally will take a label maker or a piece of tape and write on there which stamps are in there. They're all neat and organized and they're super easy to find the right stamp when I need it. I hope you found this video helpful, especially with organizing your stamps and getting them ready to use.